Governor Tom Wolf is suing the Republican-led General Assembly. He says it's to protect women's reproductive rights. The move comes after a package of constitutional amendments were proposed that, if passed, would ban abortion in Pennsylvania. It's new at 10 o'clock. Julia Hazel joins us now in the control room with more. Julia. Good evening, Jen. That's right. While Governor Wolf has vetoed anti-abortion bills in the past, this time is different. Since this is a constitutional amendment, it did not require a signature by Governor Wolf, and it cannot be vetoed by the governor either. Governor Tom Wolf is suing the Republican-led General Assembly over a package of constitutional amendments, one that would ban abortion. The governor says the amendment is unconstitutional because it would take away the right of privacy for women, including the right to terminate pregnancy. In part of a statement, Governor Wolf says, This is a coordinated effort to take away reproductive rights. Further, Republicans moved Senate Bill 106 with the goal of creating a path toward an abortion ban without public debate and under the cover of night. The Senate Bill 106 is a joint resolution saying there will be no right for taxpayer-funded abortion or other rights relating to abortion. With this news, one local pro-life group says the governor took it a step too far. Uh, I think what Tom Wolf is doing is just horribly deplorable. Uh, and uh, it's... Uh, it seems to me an act of desperation. I think he knows it's going to go to the voters. And uh, they, they don't want to see that happen, I'm sure. While on the other hand, a pro-choice group is happy that the governor is taking action. I was relieved. It's so nice to have somebody in our government who cares about the people and who's going to stand up and say, hey, that's not right, and he's going to do something about it. The amendment package was passed once on July 8th by the General Assembly. If it passes for a second time, it could be on the ballot as early as this spring for Pennsylvania voters to decide. If the decision is going to be left up for Pennsylvania voters, both groups say they're going to take action. We'd like to get out with the general public, hear what they have to say, and uh, have a chance to let them hear what we have to say. So we try to get out to as many community events as possible. Uh, public demonstrations are certainly not out of the question. We want to make sure people know clearly what it means and how voting is going to affect their own lives. So while we're going to be upset and we're going to be um, angry, we're also going to take action. We're not going to take any um, infringement of our rights sitting down. According to Tom Wolf's website, the joint resolution will be decided again during the legislative session of 2023-2024. Jen. All right, Julia Hazel, live in our control room tonight. Thank you, Julia.